Good day, everyone. Welcome to Stellaris. We are the pills on Prosperity Sphere, and we've just finished our previous war. Now we need to get these ships back home, but there is no direct route. But hopefully we'll be able to use our jump drives. Yeah, that's that's annoying. We need to we need to jump to Oxamon, and then we'll be able to jump back into our territory. Huh. Well, that's too bad. But they'll make it home eventually, so we need to plan our future moves. What, where will we, where will we bring our civilization? We have some tiles we need to clear out here. Oh, you need a, a thing to work. You need a building. It's, I, don't, I don't understand really the purpose of these junk heaps. I'll give you a planetary shield generator. So there is a release date now for the planetary rework, which is going to be December 6th. So that should be extremely exciting. Hopefully this game will be finished up by then. Otherwise, I'll just I'll just end it. And that's all there is to it. Because uh, the planetary rework is going to be huge. Everything will be different. We're currently 43 months to finish genetic resequencing giving us access to the advanced genetic traits to make our race that much more potent. Let's see, let's get these transport ships back into our territory. You as well. So I wish you could uh, queue up a jump to occur. I wish you could queue up a jump and then tell your ships to move somewhere after the jump. But you can't do that. And, like, I wish I could tell them to to queue up multiple jumps, because otherwise you need to jump somewhere. Then you need to wait 200 days, and then you need to queue up the next jump, which is a bit of a problem, right? Because you need to remember to come back. Otherwise, you're watching your ships like a hawk, constantly. Another pointless war has been declared. Construction complete. Oh, great. Another war against the, the Maynard bots. Well... I guess our War of Independence will be on hold yet again, and now we shall take Hadronis. But we need to get these ground troops to safety. I mean, we, we trained all these armies with the explicit intent of taking Hadronis, and now we are in a position to do that. So how about we assemble... Like, we're not going to need too many ships. Let's just uh, grab this fleet of corvettes. And we'll just send them in. And once they smash the area, we can uh, send in our ground troops. What do we have in here? Any? We have a, a 16k station. I guess we might as well send in more, more ships. I mean, the faster we can destroy the station, the uh, the less losses we will suffer. So that should be good. So we're gonna take Hadronis, obviously. We have these ships out here in enemy territory. So I guess we might as well just start attacking the enemy and taking their space over. Like, uh, we need to... Ooh, there's an L gate over there. That'd be good to control. And there are... We, we can also swoop down this little peninsula type area. 20... 2900. Yeah, their fleet power is not as powerful as it used to be. Another thing, we can make use of this wormhole to strike deep within enemy territory. They have a 100k fleet. What? Is that... 6... 113... 683. I don't know where, they're, where they plan to go. Hopefully they're not... Uh, hopefully they're not going to go through the wormhole and strike us. If they're going to go through the wormhole, then uh, we need to sort of rethink our strategy here. We we'll need to get our ships all together. So we're suffering energy penalties right now. Ooh. Let's, uh, we're going to want to check this out. Oh, okay. That was easy. And of course the, uh... Oh, damn it. The, uh, the territory flipped over to somebody else's territory. What the heck? Why did that happen? I guess we'll, we'll see. So are these two fleets? Yep. So they should, they're should they both going to arrive at approximately the same time. That's fine. I can live with that. 
taking... Okay, so now we're going to attack Bayon Drazel. And uh, there is a planet here that we need to conquer. So that, that pretty much halts these ships. Port Karakasov. Karakasov. Yeah, I'll we'll need to keep an eye on those ships. I guess what we'll do is we'll take Hadronis, and then all of these ships will just sort of fly in this way and provide support for our other fleet elements. And anything else we need to be concerned about. We have one Titan there. Don't we have another? I thought we built the second Titan. Did we not build the second Titan? Maybe not. There's not much we can do here. We can just take some of these outlying systems. Might as well do that. Yeah, we can gobble up all these systems, including Kothium, Maval, and Zubin. That, that would be a good strategy. And yeah, so we're still researching the advanced traits. Once we get those, we'll probably do a lot more genetic engineering. In 70 months' time, we'll have 5% additional energy credits and armor hull points, which will be very helpful. The enemy... I have no sights on the enemy fleet. They don't seem to be doing anything major. All right. Come on. Engaging. Hostile fleet. We're fighting the fleet, so we got two fleets of corvettes. One is equipped with the the torpedoes. And they're coming in from behind. There go the torpedoes. Oh, massive. Look at that damage. That's a lot of damage. Can't even see what's going on. Okay, well, we got the station. Now we're going to take the planet. So yeah, they have 1k fleet power. Like, we're not really going to be able to bomb them. Not effectively. We have 2k fleet power. We outnumber them 2 to 1. So the losses will be horrendous. But we will take... Oh, there's an 85k enemy fleet. We have a 40k... 40... Hmm... 65k fleet versus their 85k fleet, and they're bringing in another 100k fleet. We cannot fight that. How could we win against such superior numbers and power? But again, they have a considerable amount of anti-armor weapons, and our ships are kind of focusing on shields. But I don't think we'll be able to defeat them, not with the amount of numbers that they are bringing to bear. So we're just going to run away, how about? Let's uh, jump to this black hole station. And we'll just take that. And this fleet here. Yeah, what the heck? How, how come these... Uh, I'm taking over systems, but they keep on flipping over to different empires. I thought they would flip over to my empire. I'm not sure what exactly is the deal with that. Maybe it's because of of what the system is bordering. Could that be it? I guess we'll see in just a moment. All right, we need to keep an eye on this. Hopefully our ships will jump out. Boom. Haha. <laughs> yeah, we avoided the fight. Of course, they retreated their 100k fleet, which was my entire reason for retreating in the first place. Maybe I would not have retreated. All right, let's take this planet. A nice size 20 planet. Oh, we got that system. Perfect. I guess it flips back to the control of different empires based on who has the most claims to the system, which would make sense. And hopefully if we put in all the effort to take this freaking planet, we gain control of it. I mean, we're whittling them down. 
We just completely outnumber them. We have the Jean Warrior armies. The 100th... What was the name of that division? It was like the 100th Slime. Just trying to hover over here. Oh, haha, <laughs> the 11th slime molds, because we are, of course, fungus people. Man, that must be horrific. Yeah, I don't like how these systems are flipping over to other empire control. Like, why, why the heck am I even bothering to uh, fight? So you know what, we're just going to take all of our ships and we're going to send them over here to Iberia in anticipation of launching an offensive into enemy territory. That will be the goal. At Alfard, we have a defensive... Okay, so this will be an excellent defensive choke point right here. Because we have the station plus the planet. One of which has been shielded. We have decent garrison strength. Do we have a shield generator? You know what, we can actually probably replace one of these resource replicators with the shield generator. Or can we? No, we already have a shield generator. Never mind. Okay, good. But they probably could use some more ground troops as for defensive reasons. We'll just have to wait till the Hadronis fight is over. Which is taking a long time, and we're causing horrendous collateral damage. So we could consider building another habitat. Construction complete. Ooh, more anchorages. That's what we need. Or maybe it's time that we actually built our very own ring world segment. Hostile planet pacified. Damn it! It went over to another empire's control. That is stupid. Yeah, it's because, I mean, they never used to be vassals, so they were never part of the war. But now that they are part of the war, it's going to switch over to the to their control because they probably have more claims. Which is a dang, dang shame. So, I have no motivation to fight for them. We're going to fight for ourselves. We are making an expedition through the wormhole. We're probably going to have to deal with... Horrendous enemy fleets. It's gonna be... And we're... Yeah. That's just the way it's gonna be. Oh, we completed a habitat? I didn't know we were constructing a habitat. I guess it's become such a routine. The first habitats were celebrated. Everyone was like, oh, a habitat. People, tourists went there. There were souvenirs and t-shirts, but now it's just... Run of the mill. We can build habitats. Guess what? We know how to build habitats. Hmm. I noticed that the the combine have has moved their defensive fleets away. So what we could do is station our fleets here in anticipation of attacking so then as soon as the war with the machines end we'll just immediately go on the offensive before they can move their fleet back we're going to do a scorched earth tactic where we will shield as many planets as we possibly can to impact their economy construction complete and that's going to be a long-term strategy because we're probably not going to win the first attempt for independence but if we can hurt them enough in the first attempt Maybe we'll have a chance the next time around. Now, if we lose the war, I'm not sure if we'll have to cede any territory to them. I'm not really sure how that works. Or who knows, maybe we'll just play it cool. Maybe we'll just build a ring world and be happy with what we have. Because, I mean, there is going to be 
a galactic crisis we need to deal with, after all. Where could we build a ring world? Ooh. How about we build a ring world in the Zathmac system? Can we do that? Construction complete. We're lacking 17 minerals. Oh no, we're lacking 17 influence. Yeah, that influence cost is huge. It's like, okay, I got plenty of minerals, but influence wise. Okay, we got 1.9k armies. We should send them, of course, also to Iberia. We probably need to train more armies as well, so we're going to do that. Just a bunch of gene warrior armies. You know what? I just did all that, but we probably should build the armies in this particular sector because uh, of the governor who makes building armies cheaper and faster. Well, we'll live and learn. I'm not going to DQ all that stuff now that I just queued it up. I mean, give me a break. I'm not going to do that. So forces are moving. Things are happening. I bet we can take him. And hey, on the plus side, if a bunch of our ships get blowed up, complete. we will not have to pay maintenance cost on them. Let's see, we have our... Oh, we have our Titan here. We need to send them as well. Because the Titan provides a valuable buff to all friendly ships. Colonization initiated. Good. Hey, what is the size 17 Alpine world? How come we've never colonized this? We should definitely colonize that. Do we have any, any any people adapted for Alpine Worlds? We do. You are. No, you're a robot. How come you're not adapted to live on an Alpine World? How come you're still tropical? I guess we missed some. But here. There, uh... Okay, you're, you're good, close enough. We'll send you. Gulpan Prime. Alright, we completed all those ground forces. I guess we'll send them to a central area, like Abaddon. Then we'll see where we send them after that. Okay, so we should have enough influence to build that ring world now. So can- I know there are restrictions on where you can build a ring world. Okay, so I guess here is fine. Relaying transmission. What do you want? Oh, they're gonna give us minerals? Nice. So they're building a ring world construction site. Once they're done with that, we'll need to actually build the ring world itself. It's one of those types of things. And why are we so low on energy? It's because our ships are at war. Also, we're over our star base limit. We can actually tear down some star bases. Like this one here. It's really not doing anything for us. Helped a little bit. Okay, so the entire fleet is almost Relay assembled. Has all the ships are repaired. We probably could build a crew quarters here. That could have saved us some money. I will agree to that. I'll take even more minerals. And so what are we up against once we come out the other end? Not 
too much. We got a 5k fleet, a 77k fleet, but of course that can change. They can move stuff around. We have this planet we'll want to take over. Ooh, 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 that is a nice looking planet, New Roanoke. Yeah, we definitely want that. Uh, we failed to take it previous, but we will not fail this time. It's, it's the great crusade against the machines. Let's send out the fleet and conquer. One jump. 50, 30 days until target. Researched. Genetic resequencing. Okay, we can do the advanced traits. Let's go for habitability plus 5%. Or no, let's go for selected lineages so we can uh, recruit better leaders. Boom! We've just showed up like, hey, what's up? There's not much you can do to stop us now. We are on the warpath. Though I'm not exactly sure if I can keep my... if I can get my fleet to stay together. Yeah, so I can have all my ships follow the... The Titan. So that way, uh, all the ships will stay together, because the Titan is, of course, the slowest ship in the fleet. And hopefully they actually do the following. Are you guys gonna follow the Titan? Good. Oh, what an impressive freaking formation. Fleet Logician trait. Perfect. Whoa. We've engaged the enemy at New Roanoke. Easily crushed. A Dyson Sphere. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, okay, looks like we're gonna have a big fleet battle here. The enemy has responded with great gusto. I'm sure they will be easily crushed. Enemies brought in another 100k fleet. Okay, I think we're, uh, I think we got a bit too, too greedy. Our... We flew into the lion's den and we have let ourselves be annihilated. We've won the day. Yeah, when I, when I saw that the enemy fleet came down to 20k, I was like, damn, we might actually pull this off. And, uh, though, like, what the hell? They lost only two destroyers, one cruiser, and one other cruiser. How the heck do we lose all these Corvettes, you know? Hmm. How, how is it that their losses are so tiny? Oh, well. And, uh, apparently most of our battleships got destroyed. Though our Titan survived. I mean, here's the thing, though. We need to survive the enemy counterattack. That's going to come eventually. Like, look at that. They got 70k right there. 77k, I should say. Well, I'm going to have to take a closer look at it enemy ships to see if we can make maybe make a build to counter them more successfully but that's going to be all for today thank you so much for watching hit that thumbs up let me know what you think and i'll see you next time for more stellaris